If you like the video, please consider supporting us on Patreon. James, Berkeley trained actor, currently starring as Claudio in Measure by Measure. Measure for measure. Yes, uh, Claudio, he's interesting because he's just trying to navigate the circumstances of his imprisonment. The miserable have no other medicine but only hope. Wow. <laughs> now James, if you hoped to be in a certain classic style of a film, what type would it be? Well obviously it would be film noir. I like the uh, grittiness of the characters. Yeah, a uh, pretty contrasty style. <laughs> Shut it, scrub. Courtney, you've played daughters, damsels, and princesses on stage. Well, my favorite was when I got to play Marie Louise in My Three Angels. She was so innocent, and yet she seemed to be the cause of all of the mischief. Well, if you could cause mischief in a movie, what classic film style would it be? Why, a grand Hollywood style, of course. Okay, yeah, um, I am particular to indie films. They're Kind of, you know. What? Soiled? James, uh, how about experimental avant-garde film types? You might you know, like the... Chill. Well, what I really want is to... Sing in a musical about... Yes, yes, go on. About how I detest being interrupted, darling. I also detest when things get messy. Oh my god. Actors! Welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking, where we give you the inside tips you need to make great video. Today we're going to talk about lighting styles. You've probably heard of some of them and definitely seen them like the high-key lighting of Hollywood musicals and the gritty, contrasty look of film noir. Well, let's look at how contrast defines those lighting styles and some lighting techniques that will help you work towards creating those on your productions. <laughs> we have one sun on our planet and therefore one key light is the norm. That key lights up the world around us, our ambient, and the light reflected off of that world around us fills in our shadow side, our fill light. Sometimes light even hits the back of us, creating a back or an edge light. Contrast is the difference in tone, the light level, between those different lights. Key, fill, backlight, ambient. The contrast ratio refers specifically to the difference in light level between your key and fill on your talent. The higher the ratio, the more contrast they look like in film noir the lower, the more high key. With a light meter, I'll read the key side by blocking the fill light off the meter with my hand. And I'll read the fill by blocking the key off of the meter, giving me my fill level. The difference between the two is my contrast ratio. It goes up in the same increments as f-stop since we're reading it with a light meter using foot candles. So that's two to one, four to one, eight to one, doubling. If it was half stops, it would be three to one, six to one. Knowing this ratio helps us maintain the same contrast from shot to shot in a lighting setup, but it also lets us know if we're getting that high contrast look of a film noir, for example, or that low, uh, contrast, high-key look of the Hollywood musical. 
Note that this is an incident light meter and it reads the light falling onto my subject. So we use it in between the light and the subject. You could use a reflected light meter, which reads the light reflected off your talent, your subject, that's on its way to the camera. If you don't have one, you could use the built-in reflected light meter, that's the meter inside your camera. You would have to just zoom in on uh, the key and the fill side of your talent. Or you could use a white or a gray card on your fill and your key side and read that. You see, your fill light can come from the fill side of your actor, or it could come from much closer uh, to right over the camera. Just because your key light is bright doesn't mean there aren't any shadows on the key side. A fill light on the fill side doesn't fill in, for the most part, those shadows, but a fill light from the camera fills in all shadows that the camera can see, including any on the key side. So if your fill is near the camera, depending how bright it is, you may need to make sure that you're not blocking the fill light completely, just the fill side. And you're allowing that fill light to hit the key along with the key light side of your light meter. What if you don't want any fill, including the ambient in the room? Negative fill. You could use the black side of a show card or a flag and basically block off that ambient light as much as you can that's filling in the fill side. To add to the contrasty look of the film noir shot, I added a backlight kicker on the fill side and angled it so that it would give me a hot kick off the side of James's face on the fill side. You can also adjust the ambient level in the background of your shot by adding or blocking light. Here, I've rigged a Venetian blind to a C-stand, creating what we call a cucoloris or a cookie that throws shadows of the Venetian blind on the background, giving me more contrast, and on talent as well. Note, taking a light reading with a cookie that's hitting talent can be a little tricky. What I tend to do is make sure that the bubble of my light meter is reading the light coming through the Venetian blind. The contrast ratio in this film noir is eight to one, a three stop difference. And the backlight, I kind of set by eye. In the musical high key lighting, I'm shooting with a one to one ratio between key and fill. My key and fill match, and we even have a bounce card with a light right below a Courtney and an eye light. The lighting is as flat as we could possibly get it on her. In Glamour, we lost the Venetian blinds. We brightened the fill light, so we went from an eight to one ratio from film noir to a two to one ratio. We opened up our f-stop from an f5.6 to an f2.0 to give us that soft, uh, shallow depth of field background. We added an ND filter to take away the additional stops of light we were getting from opening up to a 2.0. We also softened our eye light with some additional diffusion and increased its brightness a little bit. So those are some techniques using contrast and the contrast ratio uh, to help you create some of those classic Hollywood lighting styles. Thanks for watching. Check out pullmyfocus.tv for the companion articles that go along with our videos. And if you find what we're doing helpful and informative, consider backing us on Patreon. With a small monthly pledge, you're investing in our ability to continue to bring you great inside tips to help you make great video. Thank you. Shot two, take five. Currently trained <laughs> actor, currently in... Uh, <laughs> <laughs>